So you've finished coding up your app and now there's just one question on your mind. How do I license this thing? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you the various elements that make a licensing system work and how they're all connected. To run a fully automated licensing system, you need three components, an app, a payment gateway, and a licensing server. Starting with our app, we've already created a GUI interface in which users can enter their license key to activate the software. However, in its current state, pressing the activate button doesn't do anything. So to fix this, we'll need to implement a function that posts data to an external API endpoint that can validate license keys entered by the user. This brings us to the payment gateway, the system responsible for the most critical aspect of licensing, accepting customer payments. Without it, there's simply no scalable solution for monetizing our app. I want to pause here for a second and mention that this is my third time making this video, as for some reason or another, the payment gateway I originally had in mind, Sendal, decided to change its pricing model twice in the last six months, and no longer has an option with zero monthly fee. While the three month trial on offer is still pretty good, I wanted to keep fixed costs to a minimum during this series to make it as easy as possible to follow along. So instead, we'll be using Lemon Squeezy which offers a simple pricing model that doesn't cost you anything if you don't sell any products. Additionally, Lemon Squeezy licensing is way better suited to selling software products across a range of different pricing models, allowing you to restrict the number of seats per license if desired, and even offers the option to cut out the last component in our licensing system, the licensing server. While Lemon Squeezy and Sendow both track licenses on their servers once the checkout process finishes, Sendow's API documentation recommends using an intermediate server to validate licenses, avoiding the risks associated with storing API keys inside your app. Conversely, Lemon Squeezy's licensing API is super simple and doesn't require any intermediate servers as there are no API keys necessary to make calls. It also handles things like rate limiting so licenses are harder to brute force. As an aside, while this is beneficial if you're trying to minimize the time to launch your product, it should also be treated as a double-edged sword, as built-in rate limiting makes obfuscating the licensing process extremely difficult, since intermediate servers will also face the same rate limit. For now, we'll continue using Lemon Squeezy to get our product online as soon as possible, while keeping costs to a minimum. I plan on making a separate set of videos about strengthening our app's license validation once it's live, and if this is something you want to see, hit the like button below to let me know. And there you have it. If you break down exactly how licensing works, it's probably not as complicated as you think. All it takes is a little time and some trial and error. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And if you're ready to start configuring the payment processor for your app, watch this video. Until next time.